Today I'm really excited to share one of my favorite poems with you, Mango Juice by Pat Mora. First, we're going to read the poem together. Then we're going to use our knowledge of the vocabulary terms we learned earlier in the lesson to answer the questions that follow. Mango Juice by Pat Mora. Eating mangoes on a stick is laughing as gold juice slides down your chin, melting manners as mangoes slip through your lips, sweet but biting, is hitting pinatas, blindfolded and spinning away from the blues and grays, is tossing fragile cascarones in your love's hair, confetti teasing him to remove his shoes, his mouth open and laughing as you glide more mango in, cool, rich flesh of Mexico, music teasing, you to strew streamers on trees and cactus, teasing the wind to stream your hair, blooming with confetti and butterflies, your toes warm in the sand. Question number one. How many lines are in stanza three? Remember to determine the number of lines in a stanza, you simply count one, two, three, etc. Did you count 15 lines? Nice work. Question number two, what sound is alliterated in stanza three. Remember that eliminate alliteration is the repetition of the same beginning letter or sound at the beginning of a word. For example, in stanza one, we saw the alliteration of the sound M in the line melting manners as mangoes slip. What sounds does the author alliterate in stanza three? Did you pick D? Nice work. The author alliterates both the letter M as well as the letter S. Question three, type an example of alliteration in stanza three. Remember to find an example of alliteration. You're looking for words that start with the same sound that are next to each other in the poem. For example, in stanza one, melting manners as mangoes slip is an example of alliteration. Can you find one in stanza three? One correct answer could be strew streamers. Another correct answer could be Mexico music. Question number four. What does the alliteration in stanza three draw the reader's attention to? What images do the words create in the audience's mind? Let's start with the alliteration of the letter M. The author says, his mouth open and laughing as you glide more mango in. Cool, rich flesh of Mexico music. Here, the author alliterates the sound M. More mango Mexican music. It really rolls off the tongue quite easily. This gives the sounds a very musical quality, sort of like the music that the author's talking about in the text.
What about the line strew streamers? The author says, music teasing you to strew streamers on trees. The repetition of the sound s in strew streamers on trees almost sounds like the wind, which later, later the author says, teasing the wind to stream, coming back to the S sound, through your hair blooming with confetti and butterflies. The repetition of the sound s in strew streamers almost sounds like the wind itself drawing your attention to the image of streamers blowing in the wind, as well as creating the image of the wind in your mind. You could answer question four using the alliteration of the letter M in Mexico music, or using the alliteration of the letter S in strew streamers.